They are yours. Yes, you heard it right. Your specific person is yours. Wait for a few minutes and you will get to know the reason why they are yours. Moreover, it is 100% natural for you to have a specific person. You have been doing it since your teenage days. You have always manifested your love interests into your life unknowingly. You are a master at doing this, but as you got older, you forgot it. Do you remember the old days? Do you remember the days when you were in school and your body started changing? There was a hormonal change in your body. You had a friend named James with whom you used to play. You thought of him as a friend, but now, all of a sudden, you started seeing him differently. You don't know why, but from then on, your life changed. The scientists said that it was due to your hormones. You suddenly started seeing every boy differently, and years passed. Then you met John, and after meeting him, you were like, oh my god. He is so cute, I like him. You started having a crush on him. Do you remember how you thought about John during those days? Do you have any idea? You might have blurry images in your mind. Well, let me tell you, you started romanticizing John in your head. You started to imagine all the scenarios where John was hanging out with you. You started imagining dates with him. You imagined going to prom with him. You imagined receiving roses and chocolates from him. You even imagined sneaking out of your home just to meet him. You started writing love letters in your head. Every time you thought of him, you imagined him smiling at you. While hearing love songs, you would imagine dancing with him and whatnot. And then, you started meeting him after school, he asked you out, and you got into your relationship. It was a beautiful experience. Now, for you, it might not be John, but William. For someone, it might be Sally or Julia. It does not matter, we all did it. We all imagined and we went into an estate of love and happiness. We were manifesting our love interests in our lives. I am sure you all did it. Tell me about your first lover in the comment section. I am sure you did this, it was a different time then. But as we grew older, our brain function changed and we became more rational. This is the reason why you don't go and do the crazy stuff that you used to do in your teenage years. This crazy stuff is not limited to doing backflips or drifting your car. It spreads out in every area of life. Now you are more logical and rational when it comes to love. The reason for telling you this story is to make you realize that you were always a pro at manifesting people. But, as you got older, you started to limit yourself by thinking rationally. Now you started making assumptions about why you couldn't of your specific person. You started thinking that you were not in the perfect shape, that your specific person was out of your league, or that you were not interesting enough. Now, you started imagining scenarios where you couldn't of them. Do you realize what is happening? Instead of imagining being with a specific person, these adults are now imagining their limitations. They are imagining the reasons why they can't have them. They are imagining things that are not changing their state as much as they used to when they were teenagers. They are imagining themselves to be of low value and someone else better than them. That's why they are creating third parties. If you still don't have your specific person yet, you are also among these people. Just be honest with yourself and ask yourself how many times today you imagined them being with you instead of imagining all the reasons why you can't have them. How many times today have you gone into that magical moment within you where your specific person is laughing with you? They are having dinner with you. They are taking random photos of you. They are showering you with gifts. They are kissing you. They are hugging you. They are watching movies with you. You both in one blanket. You both have coffee together. How many times have you imagined this and felt a change in your state? In my journey, imagining such scenarios and feeling them fills me with joy and changes my state. I feel fulfilled and satisfied, and I no longer seek it outside. I realize that I am loved, and the love is flowing within me. Then, my scenes played out externally at a random time, and I almost forgot them. Manifesting your specific person is possible. They are truly yours. You don't have to wait. Just imagine the scene where you are with them. Feel the love right now at this very particular moment. Feel them in your arms and look at their smiling faces. You don't have to go somewhere far to imagine this. Who is making you wait? Just imagine them kissing you. Feel their lips, feel their breath, and feel their heartbeat. Creation is finished and everything already exists. You wouldn't have a desire if you weren't meant to experience it. If you can imagine it, that means you can have it. This means that you can have a specific person, and this is the reason why they are yours. Neville Goddard said in his lectures that every desire of yours already exists. Anything that ever will be created or has ever been created already exists. You don't have to create anything but choose what you want. When you choose it, just believe that you are already the person who has your desire. By doing so, you will manifest it in no time. When a sculptor looks at a formless piece of marble, he sees, buried within its formless mass, his finished piece of art. The sculptor, instead of making his masterpiece, merely reveals it by removing that part of the marble that hides his conception. The same applies to you. Like the sculptor, you are revealing your desire through your imaginal acts. You reveal it completely when it shows up in your reality. 
Anything you want exists now, even your specific person. They are already yours. Let me give you an example. Suppose you open Amazon. In your wish list, there are three items, or, as I say, three options. The first one says your SP is in a loving relationship with you. The second one says your SP is in no contact with you. The third one says your SP is friends with you, but they are dating someone else. Like this, there are countless options exists on your Amazon account that are available to you to choose. The choice is yours. If you can imagine anything in your mind, that means it exists as an option. If you like an option, let's say, in our example, you choose the first option where your SP is in a loving relationship with you. Now you have to stay faithful to this option. You have to ensure that your self-talk is based from the premise of this option. You have to entertain only those thoughts that are in alignment with this option. This is your new reality. The external reality is just an illusion. It is just your past thoughts that are reflected back to you. Like on Amazon, once you have chosen the thing from your list and ordered it, it will reach you. It is being shipped. You don't have to place another order, but remain faithful that you are going to get it in the upcoming days. Some orders are from a faraway location, so it takes some time. Like those orders, some options are far away from you. They will take some days, like if you meet someone at a party and, in your imagination you choose the option of marrying them. It will happen, but like I said in the beginning of the video, our rational thinking forms assumptions about why you cannot have them. Your rational mind will give you the reasons. Let's date them first, let's know each other, let's know if they are settled or not. Like this, your rational thinking will provide you with thoughts that are not favorable to that end scene, and if you persist in those assumptions, that desire will go farther from you. So, leave it aside and imagine the state where you are already with your specific person. Don't look for reassurance in your 3D world. As it is dead, it is old news. Stop revisiting the old story. It is not at all important to remember how they ghosted you or that they don't want you. As long as you are imagining being with them, they want you. Each person is born with an infinite power, against which no earthly force is of the slightest significance. When you sit down and predetermine what you want to hear and listen until you hear it, and you refuse to hear anything other than that, then you are using the one power in the world that awakens a man, and you are using your lovely imagination. Hear their voice in your imagination, telling you that they are deeply in love with you and that they want to spend the rest of their lives with you. Hear them tell you all the lovely things about you. Hear them complimenting you. Your specific person wants you, and they will chase you. You just have to stop yourself from doing this one mistake that I have seen common in people who get rejected by their specific person. It pushes your specific person away. People do this every time and then complain about why their specific person is not here yet. Once you change this one simple thing, your specific person will start chasing you. I have made a video that will help you in doing so, and you can find it by clicking on the first video that comes up on the end screen. Happy Manifesting!